Reading through Psalms and Proverbs in 30 Days, Day 9. Psalm, Chapter 49, Heading for the Choir Director, a Psalm of the Descendants of Korah. Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world. High and low, rich and poor, listen. For my words are wise, and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listen carefully to many proverbs and solve riddles with inspiration from a harp. Why should I fear when trouble comes, when enemies surround me? They trust in their wealth and boast of great riches, yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily, for no one can pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they will stay forever. They may name their estate after themselves, but their fame will not last. They will die just like animals. This is the fate of fools, though they are remembered as being wise. Interlude. Like sheep, they are led to the grave, where death will be their shepherd. In the morning the godly will rule over them, their bodies will rot in the grave, far from their grand estates. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. Interlude. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and are applauded for their success. But they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day people who boast of their wealth don't understand they will die just like animals psalm chapter 50 heading a psalm of asif the lord the mighty one is god and he has spoken he has summoned all humanity from where the sun rises to where it sets from mount zion the perfection of beauty god shines in glorious radiance our God approaches, and he is not silent. Fire devours everything in his way, and a great storm rages around him. He calls on the heavens above and the earth below to witness the judgment of his people. Bring my faithful people to me, those who made a covenant with me by giving sacrifices. Then let the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself will be the judge. Interlude. O oh, my people, listen as I speak. Here are my charges against you, O Israel. I am God, your God. I have no complaint about your sacrifices or the burnt offerings you constantly offer, but I do not need the bulls from your barns or the goats from your pens, for all the animals of the forest are mine, and I own the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and all the animals of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For all the world is mine and everything in it. Do I eat the meat of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Make thankfulness your sacrifice to God, and keep the vows you made to the Most High. Then call on me when you are in trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. But God says to the wicked, Why bother reciting my decrees and pretending to obey my covenant? For you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash. When you see thieves, you approve of them, and you spend your time with adulterers. Your mouth is filled with wickedness, and your tongue is full of lies. You sit around and slander your brother, your own mother's son. While you did all this, I remained silent, and you thought I didn't care. But now I will rebuke you, listing all my charges against you. Repent, all of you who forget me, or I will tear you apart, and no one will help you. But giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. Psalm chapter 51, heading for the choir director. A Psalm of David regarding the time Nathan the prophet came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion, Blot out the stain of my sins. Wash me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. For I recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. 
I have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say, and your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence, and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach your ways to rebels, and they will return to you. Forgive me for shedding blood, O God, who saves. Then I will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Unseal my lips, O Lord, that my mouth may praise you. You do not desire a sacrifice, or I would offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O God. Look with favor on Zion and help her. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifices offered in the right spirit, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will again be sacrificed on your altar. Psalm chapter 52 For the Choir Director A Psalm of David Regarding the time, Dog, the Edomite, said to Saul, David has gone to see Ahimelech. Why do you boast about your crimes, great warrior? Don't you realize God's justice continues forever? All day long you plot destruction. Your tongue cuts like a sharp razor. You're an expert at telling lies. You love evil more than good, and lies more than truth interlude. You love to destroy others with your words, you liar. But God will strike you down once and for all. He will pull you from your home and uproot you from the land of the living. Interlude. The righteous will see it and be amazed. They will laugh and say, look what happens to mighty warriors who do not trust in God. They trust their wealth instead and grow more and more bold in the wickedness. But I am like an olive tree thriving in the house of God. I will always trust in God's unfailing love. I will praise you forever, O God, for what you have done. I will trust in your good name, in the presence of your faithful people. Psalm chapter 53, heading for the choir director, a meditation, a psalm of David. Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. God looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to God. Terror will grip them. Terror like they have never known before. God will scatter the bones of your enemies. You will put them to shame, for God has rejected them. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When God restores his people, Jacob will shout with joy, and Israel will rejoice. Psalm chapter 54, heading for the choir director. A Psalm of David, regarding the time the Ziphites came and said to Saul, We know where David is hiding, to be accompanied by stringed instruments. Come with great power, O God, and rescue me. Defend me with your might. Listen to my prayer, O God. Pay attention to my plea. For strangers are attacking me. Violent people are trying to kill me. They care nothing for God. Interlude. But God is my helper. The Lord keeps me alive. May the evil plans of my enemies be turned against them. Do as you promised and put an end to them. I will sacrifice a voluntary offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from my troubles and helped me to triumph over my enemies. Proverbs chapter 9 Wisdom has built her house. She has carved its seven columns. She has prepared a great banquet mixed with wines and set the table. She has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. 
She calls out from the heights overlooking the city. Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, come, eat my food and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you, but correct the wise, and they will love you. Instruct the wise, and they will be even wiser. Teach the righteous, and they will learn even more. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. Heading. Folly calls for a hearing. The woman named Folly is brash. She is ignorant and doesn't know it. She sits in her doorway on the heights overlooking the city. She calls out to men going by who are minding their own business. Come in with me, she urges the simple. To those who lack good judgment, she says, stolen water is refreshing. Food eaten in secret tastes the best. But little do they know that the dead are there. Her guests are in the depths of the grave. That's the reading through the Psalms and Proverbs in 30 days. Day 9.